know my next guest from his years as a cast member on In Living Color starting Friday. He can be seen in the new movie Bewitched. And next month, he's returning to Broadway in Mambo Kings. Please welcome David Alan Greer. <laughs> Well, I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know the Mamba. I know dances sorry. like that where you get to. Sorry, Conan. It wasn't part of the pre-interview. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm so trying to loosen up. Clock, Let's get real man. loose here and play it on the edge. So what do you think of the suit, buddy? What do you think of this suit? It looks very nice. Hey, well, I just wondered because you know, it's a lot. They gave me the suit and I gotta wear it or else I gotta give it back. So I just <laughs> Who gave you that suit? I don't. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Very nice. It's very sweet. Wait, wait, very nice. Oh, oh Sears. That's oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are quick. They made I didn't, good you know, stuff. I was well, like going, "What's he gonna say?" And you said Sears. I was yeah. like, "Wow, he's really quick." <laughs> well, you killed that moment. Uh, wow. So how have you been? How have you been? You've been busy lately. Recently, yes. you did this TV project, The Muppets Wizard of Oz. That must have been fun. Did you yeah, like doing was. that? It was. It was wonderful. You know. Um, did you like working with the? <laughs> but here's the I mean, thing. Listen, I People tell think you Muppets. People think Muppets, and they think fun. They think it's going to be they're fun. They're always fun because you know, with puppets, they never have a bad day. You right. Know? <laughs> You're not going to be with uh, Miss Piggy. She's not going to throw a tantrum. You know, because they're puppets, and they're always in a good mood. So right, right. Um, I actually have a picture of me with Kermit. Kermit the Frog, and he's like, he's like Bono when he came to the set. All the kids in the neighborhood, we were in Canada, and they're like, hey, you know, they're across the street. Right, 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 staff. right. So he's people beautiful. treat him like a rock star. He's fabulous, but when you get to the older puppets, they're a little dirty. <laughs> you know, you like mean? they got lint in them and stuff. You right, know? right. Like if a person, you want to pick it off, but right, with a right. puppet, that's all vintage. Yeah. I was very good. It was very good. It was wonderful working with Do them. you find uh, that, did you, uh, you know, that, that other people were as excited about getting their picture taken with a Muppet as you were? You know, because. <laughs> well, 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 one time, one time I did the um, 25th anniversary for um, um, Sesame Street, which mm -hmm. if you're in Muppet world, there's the Muppets and Sesame Street, and they're all like, you know, really annoying about it. No, it's Sesame Street. Like, oh, sorry, okay. I, I mean, guess. like, they're different? It's a yeah, different Yeah, Elmo class. Sesame Street. Yeah. No, no, that's the Muppets. You know, it's so like, okay, whatever. But um, <laughs> I did the Elmo Palooza, and uh, Big Bird was there, and I was dating this really young dancer. She was really hot and stuff, and so we're there. I was talking to Big Bird. We're kicking it, and uh, she says, I, I want to play, take a picture of Big Bird. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I, I took my picture with Big Bird. I think, no, I want a picture of Big Bird. And I was like, yeah, I took the picture with Big Bird. She goes, no, I want, I want a picture with Big Bird. And I realized that she really loved Big Bird. Like, she grew up watching Big Bird. So right, that's, right. that was really told me that maybe I should break up with her. That's <laughs> yeah. In that moment, I was just... <laughs> she was 16, mm, and you were oh, like, yeah. she was like, this isn't good. <laughs> yeah, this it was gotta really... got to stop. Well, I didn't stop, though. That's what's so great about life! <laughs> I kept going! <laughs> and you were arrested. Now, yeah. um... <laughs> Can I talk about something seriously? I was Let's coming do over that. here. Yeah, this is a good time. And uh, the paparazzi was chasing me, and I just rammed their car. You rammed the paparazzi's well, car. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I was trying to link it with the other, you know, Lindsay Lohan thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I want to be down. You know, ramming the paparazzi. That's famous. <laughs> that is. You know, that's it's the usually, new thing you're going to start doing. Well, usually it's me and one old white lady. I'm like, what? Okay, I'll sign your basketball. <laughs> I don't even play. What is it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just go with it, I guess. I just You're going to come it. to Mambo Kings, are you not? Are you kidding? I love Mambo <laughs> Kings. I'm going to be there front row, and you're going to pick just me like out of this. the audience, and I'm going to be, no! <laughs> I'm a great audience member. I'll be up there dancing the Mambo, and do you like it? You, you like it? You ready for the show? I love excited? it. I love it. We were in, um, I was going to say Japan. I don't know. Popped in my head. We weren't there. <laughs> Which brings up a good point. Why do things on talk shows have to be true? Why not just Thank say whatever? You. I was in Thank Japan you. battling Thank a robot. You. Really? I was with Dino. Right. I was with Dino and Sammy and the gang. Right. And uh, no, anyway, we were in San Francisco for like a month. Mm -hmm. um, we're moving into New York, and uh, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. The, the dancing is fabulous. The dancers are wonderful. One of the dancers is here. Michelle, where are you, darling? Where is she? She's not here. That's depressing. I'll find her. Just hold your horses. I know we're on TV. Michelle, hold on. Keep rolling. 
I'm gonna go find her. No, I, I guess she's not here after all. <laughs> You're saying it I've never seen be... that. I've never <laughs> seen that. You're saying it doesn't have to be true. I've been on TV for 29 years. I've never seen someone go, and I would just want to get, and then they're not there. That's great. <laughs> all right, let me try one more time. Let's not give up. Come on. Michelle. <laughs> A guy just went woo. Uh, yeah, that really... They can, they can edit, they can edit that Yeah, out. yeah, we're gonna oh, edit in someone God. jumping up. Thank you, thank you, When John. you see this tonight, someone's gonna go, I'm Michelle, and come thank running you. down, and you two are gonna get engaged on camera. Ooh, don't, mm -mm. We She's can do it on camera. Boyfriend. She's yeah. here with her boyfriend, so that may not work. Now, Bewitched, was this a fun project to work on? Yes, yes, it Did was Did you really like this? this is it big, was fun. You're working with some, some Well, you know, cool Will people. Ferrell, you know, yeah. you know and love, we all love Will Ferrell. Sure. I met him um, here on Saturday Night Live. I hosted it a few years ago, and that was like his first year on the show. He's a great guy. Um, so we do the uh, table read. And I know you're not, you're not the big movie guy. I'll, I'll walk you through this. <laughs> you know, in Hollywood, <laughs> in Hollywood, Conan, we do what's called the table read. Table and you don't read. have a band, OK? Right, it's right, just right. actor's minds. Okay. So anyway, we read through the, <laughs> you're going to kill me. <laughs> but we read through the script. And Shirley MacLaine is there, you know, with her dog. <laughs> You know, is and that so, Shirley MacLaine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the dog. It's like, whose dog is this? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's Shirley's dog. Right. Anyway, so the end of the read through, uh, she comes over by the craft store. She's like, you, you know, you're really, um, uh, you're very, very funny, uh, what, what you did there. You, you really, have you, have you done this before? Have you? Um, oh, really? Did they come? Because you really, you, you seem to know the whole milieu. And I was like, well, I, you know, I've kind of done done a few things. That's wonderful because I didn't, you know, you just nailed all the um, the jokes and things. Right, right. It's almost like you'd done it before. And I was like, well, yeah, well, thanks a lot. She goes, well, I'll see you tomorrow, Sammy, and just walked out. And I, was like, oh. I think she had a Rat she, Pack flashback. Yeah. Now. And then she, she rammed. And then she said, please sign my basketball. There you go. <laughs> Bingo. But I set you up for the, I set you up for the paparazzi thing because I said, then she rammed and you said basketball. <laughs> Let's blame me, I think. <laughs> Hold on. I think that's I the way to go. Michelle. 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 <laughs> There she, no, yeah. She'll be here soon. We're going to edit her in using CGI hey, effects. This yes? is nuts. Conan, I'm having so much fun. Can I come back tomorrow? I don't really have anything to talk about. But... Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I'm going to sing a song tomorrow from his new album, Expressions. Yeah, uh, well, Bewitched opens Friday, yes. and previews of Mambo Kings. Yeah, I'll be there Kings. opening night, front row, dressed tickets. as a Mambo King. That's going to begin July 20th at the Broadway Theater. David Allen Greer, thank you very much. Wonderful to see you. We have that great Yoakum's here. <laughs> Everybody, we are back. Fine show tonight. Fine show coming up tomorrow night from HBO's Costas Now. Bob Costas is going to be joining us from the new movie. I call it Irby. And I don't care. Irby, fully loaded. Justin Long will be here. And Daredevil, Captain Robbie Knievel, going to be on the show. That's either Evil Knievel's son or grandfather. We'll find out which one. We'll take a break. When we come back, Dwight Yoakam's here. Stick around. My next guest is a two-time Grammy winner who has sold more than 23 million albums over the past 20 years. His new album's called Blame the Vein. It's a real pleasure to welcome Dwight Yoakam. <laughs> well, folks, that's our show. I do want to thank my guest, Dwight Yoakam. That was fantastic. Thank Thanks so much for being here. Yeah. yeah. Our thanks to Lindsay Lowen for being here, David Allen Greer, and of course, Max Weinberg, the Max Weinberg Center. Your last poet, Gordon, did a battle, battle, battle.